Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> All right, we are doing the ghoul for Doodle Days. So this was like a two-hour project where I wanted to see what kind of result I could get start to finish in two hours. So what was your reference for the ghoul? Like, what were you pulling off of? I just, I just had a picture of Nosferatu up, but honestly, I did not really use that much reference in this one. I just dug in. That's bad. That's, that's what I should work on for next time, is never, ever, ever do that. <laughs> was that like a chalk brush? No. Uh, I knew that I didn't have that much time, so I didn't want, like, flat line work, so I just put some scattering on a regular round brush... And I can't remember, maybe some noise. I just wanted some sort of roughness to the brush so that I could just have some marks to sort of work with mm -hmm. that had a little bit of flavor. Yep. It'd be cool to see you start a painting with color. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't paint this one. This one ends up in color, but it's just a simple color eyes with some a little bit of paint over, but not really that much. But that's something I saw Dave Raposa do. He just... Uh, does well, it color over? Yeah, he'll just colorize something because most color palettes that work really well are a lot more monochromatic than people realize. So colorize is a good starting point, in my opinion. Not in all cases, but, you know. Some very alien-looking lips there. Yep. He's a... I guess I was playing Baldur's Gate, <laughs> and I fought a bunch of ghouls. So I was like, I'll draw some, a ghoul. And tails from the crypt day. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. Just kind of like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> He's got a little bit of the Crypt Keeper quality, I guess. Uh, what should we talk about? We're not really talking about my process. There's not really much to it in this one other than just trying to get a full, like, have 1 through 10, like, if 1 is white and 10 is black, or vice versa, or whatever. Try to represent 10 full steps is just a thing I think about a lot. So I'm trying to have the darkest dark and the lightest light. And I actually don't quite get that, so later I duplicate the layer, and I adjust the levels, and then I sort of multiply it in to pop it. It's like a little trick you can do. And I try some, some breath effects that I don't really end up liking here, so these will leave. Oh, one th the way I'm lighting him is is bottom up, which is like a good trick to get like a sinister feel. Like all the old horror movies are lit from the ground up. So if you look at like Frankenstein or Nosferatu, they'll yeah, it gives you this sort of type the of Alfred Hitchcock movie, really. Yeah, yeah, the bottom up lighting is sinister lighting. It's pretty pretty standard knowledge, I think. I think that his brow would have been darker then. Yeah, he... The topper part of it? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely racing as I do this and just trying to figure the light out. Um, and now... Yeah, here we go. So this is pretty close to the end. So if I did a colorize of just sort of generally sort of an uncomfortable looking green because he's a ghoul. And then I did sort of a complementary since it's like a pale green. I did like a saturated ready orange just complimentary warm and cool type of approach I'm cool to get some more reds around his mouth and lips and area yeah uh, it's like a palish pink or yeah red. and then I was trying to do some atmospheric dust effects bam so there you go so you did the noise yeah I did the noise but a mistake I made is I put the noise oh whatever I put the noise before I did the blur effect so the noise dissipates <laughs> with the blur but uh there you go. It's a ghoul. I don't really like that audio. We maybe, should do that again. Maybe just for smaller pieces we don't do audio. 